Hey everyone, this is Kenji. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a chopped cheese. So I grew up uh, in the 80s in, um, on 125th Street, so right sort of on the border of Harlem and Morningside Heights. Um, and when I was a kid, I don't, I'd never heard of the chopped cheese. I don't think it existed when I was a kid, like in the 80s. Um, then in high school, I started hearing about it. Um, it's a sandwich that you get at like a, the bodega. Um, but then, you know, I left, I left and I lived in Boston for 10 years. Um, and, um, when I finally came back to New York, uh, in the early 2000s and I lived in, um, Central Harlem, 135th and Lenox, um, at that point, everybody knew what the chopped cheese, at least everyone in that area knew what the chopped cheese was. Um, because it's a sandwich that started in Spanish Harlem, which is sort of east of, east of Central Harlem, East Harlem. Um, a place called Haji's Deli. It's a bodega on uh, one tenth and First Avenue. Um, but I used to get mine. It's a sort of a late night, cheap, drunk sandwich. I would get mine at the bodega on One Thirty Fifth and Lenox. Um, it's it's basically a chopped up hamburger on a hero. Um, a hero is like what, what you what, what you'd call like a a, a sub roll in New York. Um, although I, you could also get it on a Kaiser roll, and I would usually get it on a Kaiser roll just because I preferred that Kaiser roll or hard roll, as, as, as you could also call it. Um, all right, so I'm starting with some onion here. Um, oh, by the way, you're, I'm in a new kitchen right now. This is a sort of temporary kitchen. Um, we're moving, so if you see any videos um, in my old kitchen, those are old videos that are um, <laughs> that are now um, that I'm now just now getting to putting up, but I'm no longer in my old house. Um, we're moving, and right now we're staying for a couple months in this temporary house. Um, so you'll be seeing maybe a couple videos from this kitchen, and then you'll definitely be seeing some more videos from a new kitchen sometime soon. Um, here we go, all right, so I'm starting with onions. You don't need to put onions on your chopped cheese, but I do, or I'm going to today at least. Um, the other thing I got going, so you can see I have three pans going over there, and there's a reason why. Um, I also got these, Hatch chilies, which some, somebody uh, sent me. Um, hatch chili is definitely not a common ingredient for chopped cheese, but um, I got them, and they go great with beef. Um, you can, you know, you can get like pickled peppers with your chopped cheese. You can get like like banana peppers are common on chopped cheese, or you can get grilled peppers some places. Um, but definitely not a necessary thing. The only real thing that you need is hamburger and American cheese, or whatever cheese you want, but hamburger. Um, so I got this Dutch Crunch. Um, I don't, you know, in New York you would get this on a hero roll. Um, Dutch Crunch is like a California, like a Bay Area thing. Um, I'm in the Bay Area right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, so the way I'm gonna do this, I got two pans going. Both of them are pretty hot right now. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna take the second pan, put it right on top, and press it down with a towel. And this is sort of like my, this is like my panini press here. Just to sort of, you don't, you know, I'm, it's not really toasting the bread, it's just kind of softening it up and getting it, getting it ready to accept, accept what's coming to it. All right, so. Onions going just a little bit. You don't need to caramelize them or anything. Just sort of like very gently brown them. Um, so chopped cheese, yeah, started in Spanish Harlem, um, I think in like the 90s, and then, um, Moved around mostly in the sort of, you know, Spanish Harlem, Queens, and the Bronx are where you'd mostly find it. So um, you wouldn't really find many of them in like, um, I don't know, like downtown New York. The, the bodegas there did not have chopped cheeses, at least not, not when I lived there. Maybe they do now. They, they sort of become a very popular thing now. You've probably heard about them. All right. They aren't cheesesteaks, by the way. People say, somebody, I've heard people say they're like New York's answer to the cheesesteak. Um, they're not. They're just like, a, <laughs> they're just they're their own sandwich. Nobody, nobody who made the chopped cheese was thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the New York version of a cheesesteak." Nobody was even thinking about the cheesesteak when they invented the chopped cheese. Um, they came from uh, the these Yemen, Yemeni-run um, delis in New York. So if, if you if you were up in Harlem, a lot of the delis are run by Dominicans, and then a lot of them are run by um, Yemeni folks. Um, and uh, so fried chicken places too. Like you know, they all they're, they're in Harlem. There's a bunch of places called. KFC, which is Kennedy Fried Chicken, um, not Kentucky Fried Chicken, and those all the ones that are called Kennedy Fried Chicken are run by um, Yemeni uh, immigrants. Um, and usually you can get like fried chicken, pizza, burgers, and hot dogs and, uh, at those places. Um, although I would stick to getting the fried chicken because um, the pizzas are not that great. If you do go up to Spanish Harlem and you go get a chopped cheese at um, Haji's on One Tenth and First Avenue, what you should do after that is walk up another eight blocks to 118th and Lennox. Um, and there 
is Patsy's Pizzeria, um, the second or third oldest pizzeria in uh, New York. You know, one of the first five pizzerias in the country. Um, and the only place in New York I know that you can get coal-fired pizza by the slice. So, tr you know, old, old, old school New York pizza um, is cooked in coal oven. So there's places like Lombardi's um, and um, uh, I'm blanking on names right now, but all, all the original New York pizzerias, Patsy's and Lombardi's, um, are coal-fired ovens. The Patsy's up in Harlem, Spanish Harlem, um, is the only place I know where you can get coal-fired pizza by the slice, and it's still like under two bucks. Oh, so this is why it's called chopped cheese, because you got a burger patty, and you chop it up, and then we're gonna add cheese to it. Um, you know, at the bodegas, this would be basically, um, you know, like one of those you know, preformed hamburger patties. Oh, the other secret here. So, instead of plain salt, you can add a little bit of salt, but this is the real trick. Chicken bouillon. Gives it that special salty umami flavor punch. Black pepper. Bun is ready to accept our, our beef load here. I'm gonna put those hash chilies right in too. So, I mean, you know, I understand why people say this is similar to a cheesesteak because it's beef. Um, and even in, you know, Philly cheesesteak often is, will be, will be beef that starts out sliced and then gets chopped on the griddle. That's how I like them anyway. But it's a it's a fundamentally different thing. The type of bread, you know, it, it, I guess it's sort of similar to a, a cheesesteak hoagie in that it's like, you know, done with sort of standard um, hero roll ho hoagie toppings, um, lettuce and tomato, you know. Um, but I wouldn't be so bold as to call it, a, you know, a cheesesteak imitator or a cheesesteak clone because it's, it's, it's really its own thing. Mayonnaise. All right, so now this cheese goes right on top here. And what I'm gonna need, I guess this will probably, this will probably be my best bet. I'm gonna sit there for just a second so that cheese melts in. A touch. Um, and you can, you know, you can, you can, you can actually, if you want, you can literally chop the cheese into it. Um, for this one, I'm not going to because it's, it's just going to melt in because this beef is pretty loose to begin with. If I had one of those full, you know, like a restaurant deli sized spatula, I could do this all in one go, but I don't, so I won't. Ends up getting a little bit chopped anyway. Mm. Tomato. Mosquito. I think that's adequate tomato. Shredded lettuce. Oh, a little bit of a salt on my tomato. I always like to season my tomatoes. Oh, that's for you, Shabba. Go for it. Clean up crew. Lettuce. And then the real trick to the sandwich, gotta get some, uh, just to wrap it. Sort of the trick to deli, you know, New York deli style burgers also, that the, you, you wrap them so that the buns kind of steam a little bit, because you never eat them there. You always take them somewhere and eat them. Maybe, I mean, it could just be right outside, but um, usually I would get these, like I said, like if I was working late at night or if I was coming home from a bar, deli across the street. And there. There you got it. That is a New York style chopped cheese made with New Mexico hatch chilies and Dutch crunch from the Bay Area. Let's have a bite and see how it is. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm. 
Oh man, it does make me wish I was drunk. Killer. All right, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome to my temporary kitchen. I will see you in my new kitchen sometime soon. Uh, until then, see you later. Bye.